I'm here with a, a show called What No Fish, and uh, it's a solo show that uh, I perform, I tell the story, but it's really about my great uncle. This box was given to me by my mum, but what he did was he drew on the back of his wage packet every week, and he'd give a picture every week to his wife. Um, he started in 1926 when he married my great aunt Celie, and he did one every week of his married life until she died in 1982. So there's 50 plus years chronicle of family history drawn on the back of wage packets. And these have been hidden really since he died in 1986 and his son had kept them under his bed. My mum had inherited them and I kind of took them and was astounded by what I saw. And in looking into the pictures, I found all kinds of surprises. Uh, the main one was what an amazing artist he was. Untrained, I mean these days you might call him an outsider artist, and changed his style over time, and also blisteringly honest. So whatever happened in the week, he felt he had to draw it. So they start off as that kind of loving gesture, but then as time goes on you see, oh this is a guy who, who couldn't look away. His son got institutionalised, his disabled son. His wife suffered quite a lot of illness. They lived, of course, through the bombing and the Second World War in London. This was a Jewish family, children of immigrants, and that kind of informed a lot of uh, his humour um, and his seriousness. The, the pictures are kind of bitter and sweet together. So he'll always have an ironic or humorous take on something, even if it's deadly serious. So, so the big challenge of making this show work was we've got these tiny little pictures that are the size of a pack of playing cards, something like that size. So how do you make that read? So that people get a sense of the real artefacts, because that's important, you know, the, the kind of texture of the paper. And I was talking to a teacher friend of mine who, oddly, is an Australian guy living in England, and he said, have you heard about a visualiser? And I said, no, what is it? And they're used in classrooms everywhere. It's not like the old overhead projectors. So they're digital cameras. And so what I can do is I can take the artifacts out of a shoebox and place them down on a table and they get projected, you know, life-size on a big screen behind me so everybody can see the incredible detail that my great uncle put into, uh, into the pictures. And the other thing is that I use a moment where I thought, should storytelling. I actually, should I actually be looking at all this? When the audience come in, I feed them. I give them some Jewish food, so if you come you will be offered, you don't have to have it, you'll be offered um, fried fish to eat and the smell of it will waft through the auditorium and then as the show progresses hopefully that helps people to kind of uh, feel part of something, feel like they're, they're part of a community in the show, they're, they're, you know there's a shared experience going on even though everyone's got their own individual thought processes that go on. So those are the kind of elements that are kind of really interesting, the, the, the very modern technology we use to show the pictures and the oldest form of performance with it, which is one guy telling a story. Yeah.